I'm sure you guys have probably heard the quote, if you're going through hell, keep going. The past few months have definitely been an accurate representation of that quote. In June, I started to suffer from a chronic illness called topical steroid withdrawal, or TSW for short. This illness is one that I would not wish upon my worst enemy. It's what I'd imagine actual hell to feel like. I've already uploaded a podcast episode explaining it fully, so I'll give you guys a quick little rundown. If you have a skin condition, in my case it was eczema, you have probably went to the dermatologist at some point, and you have probably been prescribed some type of topical steroid. It comes in a tube, it could look like Vaseline or any other harmless cream, but it's definitely not. These steroids are extremely potent, and after your body gets addicted to it, you are likely to experience a brutal withdrawal process once you quit. It was around the first week of June. I remember my body getting these rashes all over my leg, back, and arms, and before you knew it, it was covering my entire body. I was also experiencing other symptoms such as heat flashes followed by cold sweats. <laughs> my body literally couldn't regulate its own temperature. I also experienced symptoms such as flaking, oozing, nerve pain, depression, the list goes on. And soon, life as I knew would turn into three months of being fully bedridden. I stopped all of my acting and social media work as I could not be on camera. There were days where I couldn't move my hands to eat. I also didn't shower for two months as I was following a strict protocol called NMT. I am not a licensed professional, but TSW has not yet really been accepted by the medical community. So as sufferers are left to fend for ourselves by using what we find online through Facebook groups, online articles, and TikTok. I am extremely grateful for the TSW community that exists online. I really don't think I would have gotten through it without them. The first three months I spent here in LA in my studio apartment with the comfort of my boyfriend. I am so grateful for his love, support, energy. He definitely sacrificed a lot in his personal life to take care of me the first couple of months. At a certain point in August, I figured that it was time to go back home to my family in Charlotte, North Carolina so that I could heal and just be completely relaxed. Um, it was so, so good to be around family and I healed a lot. I've still got a long way to go, but I am intentionally choosing to let time, patience, and tranquility be my guide for the rest of this crazy healing journey. So yes, that's what's been going on for the past six, seven months of my life. I hope you guys continue to come along with me and let's finish this freaking healing journey, dude. Hello guys. It's been so, so long since I've even recorded in front of a camera. I don't know if I'm even doing this correctly. Where do I start? I'm currently in Charlotte, North Carolina, aka my hometown. I'm in my childhood bedroom. I grew up here and this has been my room for the past like 15 years of my life. There was a point where when we were younger, we would sleep in our parents' room. So this eventually became my room when I was like seven. Asked to paint the walls yellow, don't know why they're yellow still <laughs> if you guys have been keeping up with me on instagram or tiktok or whatever you guys would know that these past five months aka almost half of a whole year has been full of hardship and turmoil and struggles <laughs> now i'm ready to be back onto the internet onto youtube my oh so loved platform i miss it so so much this room <laughs> Let's give you a tour. This is my bed. I sleep with a towel because I'm constantly shedding uh, 24 7 shedding shedding shedding. It's gotten less so I'm not shedding as much anymore and my body can move I can move my hands. I can move my face all the things like my family literally did the most to make me feel the most comfortable coming back home I'm so so grateful for that. I'm so grateful that I have a family that was able to take care of me during this time. It has not been easy, to say the least. By the time you guys are watching this, I'm actually back in LA. Yeah, I know I announced on Instagram saying that I was moving back home, and yeah, that was technically the case. I mean, I, I physically moved back home and have been here for the past two months. Today is October 9th, <laughs> and I'm heading back home in two days. My boyfriend lives in my apartment back home, uh, lives in our apartment back home. He would hate me if I saw that. <laughs> yeah, our apartment is back home and all my stuff is there. I It was just too much to move everything, so I technically didn't really move everything back home. I just wanted to really test out this first couple of months to see how my body was working with TSW and everything. So I gave myself the grace to just like rest here, but at a certain point, Jada Jones is Jada Jones and she wants to move. She wants to do things. I can't fully thrive the way that I know how to, you know, like after i do my work for the day i'm just done and i don't know what to do and i 
I miss my boyfriend, I miss my friends, I miss my apartment, but in no way, shape, or form did I want to rush this healing process. I am still very much healing. I'm not fully healed <laughs> at all. I'm still feeling the effects of TSW and everything like that, but this healing journey has been really insane. Like, <laughs> I don't think you guys understand. I mean, watching your body transform from like exploding and like ridding toxins and all of that stuff into like what my skin is now it's actually ridiculous and it was through mind power it was through my family support and like that energy i'm telling you like having family by your side while healing is so so important i don't know how people do this without family members um or anybody to be by their side i'm if anything every single day that i was healing I had to remind myself that I am healing with people who care about me, you know? TSW has just given me so much time to think about absolutely so much. I mean, in, in my months of isolation, it was basically a second pandemic for me in my bedroom, um, but in deep physical pain and uncomfortability 24-7. My family made this house so comfortable from installing LED lights. Hello? Yeah, you guys can't even see it. It's... It's orange in here now. Let's let's make it purple. Isn't that purple? I can't find the purple. This is pink. We're gonna go with pink. I don't think that made a difference for you guys, but it definitely did for me. <laughs> with all of this time to think so much about who I am as a person, the content I create, who I'm presenting online, I want to come back onto social media in a way that genuinely and truly inspires people to live their best lives despite any of the struggles and obstacles that come in your way um this is important to me this is important for my own healing journey too to come back in this time um i don't want to overwhelm myself but jada jones is an overworker <laughs> she likes to do a million things at once and that's one thing that i'm gonna have to be very careful about once i go home i've had too much time to think in my head almost too much time <laughs> i'm a completely different person than i was even a month ago <laughs> yeah so many things have happened in my life in the past year that i'm not sure if i've fully processed yet <laughs> that's what therapy's for babes i'm so excited i like if anything let's end this on like a great note i'm so excited to dive back into all of my endeavors as i continue to heal i think that it shows such strength and courage to be able to come out of what was one of my biggest insecurities aka eczema it turning into tsw and now having it plastered on my entire body and healing from that <sighs> I didn't know I was this strong, you know, like I didn't know that I could be this strong, but I, I can't attribute that to just myself. I have the best family on planet earth. I mean, from all of the little details of making me feel comfortable, of just having lavender scented humidifier, um, these LED lights so that I could feel comfortable. I even had to sleep downstairs for a bit because I just couldn't sleep in this room. So I slept downstairs, they would set it up for me, they would vacuum my bed like they made up my bed today, they made up my bed every single day. <laughs> I'm really gonna miss that. I'm gonna miss so much. And I think there's something so beautiful and painful about growing up. You almost, you almost mourn this loss of your childhood. You mourn, you mourn a lot. And I think being sick or being, going through this condition is just, <laughs> put so much into perspective for me what is actually important for me in this lifetime what what do i want from this lifetime you know it's so finite and it seems like we have forever but we really don't and i don't know too sappy too sappy there will be a podcast episode where i explain everything that happened with tsw i don't think that this is something that i should do on my youtube channel right now at least it's just it's excessive i feel like my podcast listeners definitely like want the inside tea all the stuff i've explained it a little bit in this video already what tsw was but yeah i i definitely want to provide more awareness for this it's just it's a very sensitive subject to me still it's still something that i'm still trying to work through but i think that's the beauty of coming back at this time i felt this need to come back to social media at this time so so, you know, you guys have been seeing me create some Instagram content here and there, some TikToks here and there, but YouTube is my love, bro. Like, I miss you guys. But I'm heading back to LA in two days. I need to pack. I need to get stuff together. But I am so excited to see where this journey goes. It's going to be so fun. But yes, going to be bringing back the podcast, bringing back the YouTube channel, bringing back all the stuff that I love so much. It's been so easy to get depressed and anxious and 
all the things that come along with chronic illness. Um, I don't know how many more months that I have left going through this, but I'm just also so grateful that this is something that's temporary. It will be over someday soon. Yeah, I'm, I'm so blessed to know that one day like this will be an end. It's just a matter of fighting towards that finish line. And I think I've expedited my healing a lot. Genuinely, guys, I don't think you guys know your mind is so freaking powerful i don't think you guys understand you can do anything bro like i i testified to this before tsw on my youtube channel i always told you guys you can do anything but like genuinely sitting in my childhood bedroom and now like this is the bedroom that i slept in every single night after middle school high school like everything and now being back and sleeping in this room it's like i'm the same person i've just been through so much experience you know like i moved to new york city moved to la did this 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 and this it's crazy so literally sitting in this room like there's something so beautiful about growing up in your childhood house that's like unexplainable like you come back and these are your roots you know like you can really ground yourself in here this is my childhood room yay um it's not what i wanted to say <laughs> I'm working on trying not to be so perfect and just doing things from the heart and the way that I feel I know best and <laughs> and that's all I can do. I see a red button that's about to stop recording so I'm gonna go. <laughs> Bye.